Because it's Pride Month, I thought I'd talk about the story that these guys are in, in a heartbeat, and say how it came to be, and just the story behind it. So if you don't know what this story is, it's the first short or animated feature film, for that matter, that I've ever seen that features gay main characters. So when this short came out on YouTube, it blew up. So as of now, it has 36 million views, and it got 12 million of those views in the first 72 hours, so it was trending, basically. But what I really like about this short is that there's no dialogue, it doesn't argue anything, it just kind of shows a situation and lets the audience react to it however they want to react to it. And it does that with lots of emotion and a gorgeous score that's underneath it. But this story could have been very different. So this show was actually done as a project for a senior thesis for the Riding College of Art and Design. And it was done by Beth Davids, who's 22, and Esteban Bravo, who is 24. And what they knew at the time is they wanted to do a childhood crush in middle school, basically, and do something around that. And they also loved their friend's suggestion of having the heart actually pop out of one of the characters' chests and go towards the other person. But at this point it was going to be between a boy and a girl, and it would have actually worked for the story. But when they switched it to become about a boy and a boy, it suddenly became a lot more deep, and was a lot more relatable to Esteban and to Beth, because they themselves were in the gay community. They could now make a story that they would have wanted to see themselves when they were kids. So on November 15, 2016, they launched a Kickstarter to kickstart the project, and people basically went crazy for it. They reached their goal of $3,000 in only three hours, and they reached their stretch goal of $5,000 within the day. With the stretch goal being for a live studio ensemble, because if they didn't reach the stretch goal, they just wouldn't have had music in the shot. But yeah, they smashed that, and by the end of the Kickstarter, they ended up raising $14,191. This actually allowed them to travel over to Los Angeles to see the score being composed by Spanish composer Arturo Cardalus, with Nick Ainsworth doing the sound design. But they did all the visuals in the story, and the fact that they were gay themselves definitely helped them out a lot to make this story. And this was partially because they were closeted in school, which, by the way, means that they just didn't come out as gay, they didn't, like, live in a closet or anything. Their experience with dealing with that all the way through high school and the complications that they would have brought helped them to mould the characters and make them be the characters that they were in the shot. This film did take them a long time to make, at one and a half years, but another big motivation for them to take that long was the fact that they were challenging the perceived notion that LGBTQ plus isn't suitable for young audiences and that it shouldn't be shown in animation. And to achieve this, they intentionally made it really innocent and really light-hearted so that it would appeal to young people from a variety of backgrounds. Especially since young people would not have been used to seeing this sort of thing in animation because animation usually shies away from that because they know that people are going to complain about it. And by the way, people do definitely complain about it. I saw when Elsa was said to maybe be gay in Frozen 2, there was loads of people going against it and people saying they wouldn't show it to their children and yada yada yada. But anyway, as I said earlier, this shot was a world success when it came out on the 31st of July 2017. And as expected, there were some negative responses, but there were actually loads of positive responses, and people really liked it. And because of this reaction to the shot, the creators of the shot didn't rule out the fact that they might make a series of shots, or that they might make a full feature length even. Because this shot actually went on to win quite a few awards, including the Student Academy Award. And it was actually praised by J.A. Biona, who's the director of A Monster Calls, as well as the upcoming film Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. And the success also undoubtedly would have helped them to get into Blue Sky Studios, where Esteban is now working as a storyboard artist and Beth is now working as an animator. And yeah, that's the story behind it in a heartbeat. Let me know what you think about the shot down in the comment section down below. And be sure to like this video and subscribe, which is what I usually do this for, <laughs> to see more animated movie reviews, videos like this, as well as other animated discussion videos. So I hope you all have a great day. I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.